Welcome back. Today we will going to show you a comprehensive step-by-step -step tutorial on building REST API using Node.js, Express.js, SQLite, and PostgreSQL. We're going to show you a walkthrough how to create a little complex table associations or relationships with CRUD, create, read, update, and delete operations. So, the associations or relationships will be like this diagram. One classroom has many students and a student has one classroom. Many students take many courses and vice versa. One course has one lecturer and one lecturer teach one course. This tutorial divided into several steps. Step number one, create Express.js projects and install required modules. Step number two, add and configure SQLite.js module and dependencies. Step number three, create or generate SQLite models and migrations. Step number four, create Express controller and router for classroom model. Step number five, create Express controller and router for student model. Step number six, create Express controller and router for lecturer model. Step number seven, create Express controller and router for course model. Step number eight, advanced Express routes and functions for association. Step number nine, run and test the Node Express SQL and PostgreSQL REST API. The following tools, frameworks, and modules are required for this tutorial. Node.js, PostgreSQL Server, Express.js, SQLite.js, Terminal or Command Line, Text Editor or IDE. We assume that you have installed PostgreSQL Server in your machines or you can use your own remote server. Also, you have installed Node.js on your machines and can run Node npm or yarn command in your terminal or command line. Next, check their versions by type these commands in your terminal or command line. That's the versions that VR uses. Let's continue with the main steps. Step number one, create Express.js projects and install required modules. Open your terminal or not come in line, then go to your projects folder, first install express generator using this command. Next, create an express.js app using this command. This will create express.js projects with the AJS view instead of JED view template because Using few AJS parameter, next, go to the newly created projects folder and install nodes modules. Open this Express.js projects with your RDE or text editor. To using Visual Studio Code, just type this command. You should see the folder structure like this. There's no view yet using the latest Express Generator. We don't need it because we will create a RESTful API. Step number two, add and configure SQLite JS module and dependencies. Before installing the modules for this project, first install SQLite CLI by type these commands. To install SQLite.js module, type this command. Then install the module for PostgreSQL. Next, create a new file at the root of the projects folder that initializes SQLite configurations. Open and edit this file, then add these lines of codes. These files will tell SQLite initializations to generate config 
models, shaders, and migrations files to specific directories. Next, save these commands to initialize the SQLize. These commands will create config, config JSON, models, index.js, migrations, and shaders, directories, and files. Next, open and edit config config JSONs, then make it like this. We use the same configurations for all the environments because we are using the same machine, server, and database for this tutorial. Before running test connections, make sure you have created a database as described in the above configurations. You can use PSQL commands to create user and database. Next, save these commands for creating a new user with password, then give access for creating the database. Create PageQL, then log in again using the new user that previously created. If necessary, enter the password. Then you will enter this PageQL console. Save these commands to creating a new database. Give this new user privileges to the new database, then create the PSQL. Step number three, create or generate SQLized models and migrations. We will use SQLized CLI to generate a new SQLized model. Type these commands to create a model for classroom, students, lecturer, course and student course. Those commands create a mod the model files to the model folder and migrations files to the folder migrations. Next, modify models classroom JS, then add associations with student model inside associate function. Next, modify models lecturer JS, then add the associations with course model inside associate function. Next, modify models course JS, then add association with student and lecturer models inside associate function. Finally, for migrations, there's nothing to change and, and they are ready to generate the table to the PostgreSQL database. Type these commands to generate the table to the database using SQLize command. Step number 4. Create Express Controller and Router for Classroom Model. To create the controller, first create a folder for controller and new JavaScript file with, by type these commands. Open and edit controllers, classroom JS, then add these lines of codes.
In this controller, we have all CRUD, create, read, update, and delete functions. To make this controller available via controllers folder, add this file for declaring this controller file and other controllers files. Open and edit these files, then add these lines of JavaScript codes. For the router, we will use the existing router that generates by XPace generator. Open and edit routes in XTS. Then declare the classroom controller after other variables. Add these routes after the existing routes for classroom controller. Step number five. Create Express controller and router for student model. Tap these commands to create a controller and router files for student model. Open and edit controllers student JS, then add these lines of codes that contains full CRUD for functions for the student's model. Next, open and edit roots in XJS, then add a required variable for student's controller. Step number 6. Create XPS controller and router for Rectorer model. Save these commands to create a controller and router file for Rectorer model. Open and edit controllers lecturer JS. Then add these lines of codes that contain full CRUD functions for Rectorer model. Next, open and edit roads index JS that add a required variable for studded controller. Next, open and edit roads index JS then add a required variable for lecturer controller. Step number seven: Create Express controller and router for course module. Save these commands to create a controller and router file for course module. Open and edit controller course JS. Then add these lines of codes that contain full CRUD functions for course module. Next, open and edit roads in XJS. Then add a required firewall for course controller. Add roads for all CRUD functions of course controller. Step number eight: Advanced Express roads and functions for association. Now we have to make the associations more useful. To make a classroom include the students, add these functions to controllers classroom JS. Next, add these new functions to the roots file roots in XJS. To add a lecturer, include a course, add these functions to controllers lecturer JS. Next, add these new functions to the roots file roots in XJS. To add a course for a student, add these functions to controller student.js. Next, add these new functions to the roots file roots in XJS. That's a few of associations feature that might be useful for your projects.
We will add another useful functions to this article reader.